Hello everyone. In this video, it is about demystifying DevOps pipeline in CI/CD. That stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery process. So without further ado, let's get started. Constructing a DevOps pipeline is an essential part of a software architect's process when working at software engineering team. In the past many times, as I participated as a technical interviewer at Red Hat and other places, I was quite surprised to find very few people who could clearly describe what DevOps pipeline is and what continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline is, which is sure nor, surely known as CICD. In this video, by watching this video, you will understand what DevOps pipeline, pipeline is and what CI-CD pipeline is. DevOps. Let's have a little discussion what DevOps is before jumping into DevOps pipeline. DevOps by itself is software development methodology and it is not tied to any specific tool. You can think DevOps like any other software development process like Agile, Lean, Scrum, or Waterfall. Except DevOps mainly focus on increasing the software deliveries through the automation tools. One of the best books written about DevOps process is Phoenix Project by Chen Kim, and reference page found in the back of the book explains what software deploy frequencies are like from different companies. Amazon, for example, leads software updates about 23,000 times per day to to ill's well constructed DevOps process. In contrast, a typical enterprise releases software only once every nine months. But the vulnerability and security risk are directly proportional to deploy frequency. As a new software get feature gets released, so does the likelihood that your software breaks or introduce a security leak. Thus, DevOps process that only focus on the frequent delivery aspect is highly undesirable. DevOps team also need to put the equal priority on reliability, safety, observability, observability and resiliency aspect as well. All right, so we understand what DevOps process is, but what does DevOps exactly promise to deliver? To understand this, we will move on to understand what DevOps Pipeline is. DevOps Pipeline DevOps Pipeline is the bread and butter of DevOps process. Probably the most well-known DevOps Pipeline that kicked off DevOps trend is Jenkins, which is an open source tool built in Java program language. Now, we have so many DevOps Pipeline tools like Argo, Harness, GitHub Actions, in Travis CI. DevOps pipeline can be largely broken down into two aspects, infrastructure, operation, and code development, which is just development. Whichever role you belong to depends on a number of different factors, including the existing DevOps pipeline, the size of your company, your role at your company, etc. For example, if your company is a startup that only has few engineering team members, your company has no previ previously designed DevOps pipeline, and your responsibility is an architect or a team lead who need to come up with a beautiful solution to the improvement of every software delivery aspect, you need to come up with at least the minimal viable product or MVP pipeline delivering infrastructure aspect as well as a code deployment aspect. But if you work under a large enterprise that already has an existing pipe DevOps pipeline, you will like to focus on either the infrastructure side or, or as an operation engineer, or the code delivery side as an application developer. Understanding what, understanding what stage your team DevOps process is at, what your role is, and how big your team is will help to determine what you need to focus on when you join an engineering team. We'll finally get to an interesting part, which is to learn how to design a DevOps pipeline. First, 
we'll cover the infrastructure side, then move on to the code development side. DevOps pipeline for infrastructure. For an infrastructure engineer, who can be also called as an operation engineer, ops, or a DevOps engineer, you're responsible for building the environment necessary to host and to run application. Most of the time, this means a cloud environment, which can be either running on top of a virtual machine, VM, or a container. Please see the architecture diagram here, which illustrate a general De DevOps pipeline process that is applicable for an infrastructure engineer or an architect. The high-level step-by-step process is listed here. First, DevOps pipeline job has to trigger. Second, pipeline job execute a task to check out the code from a source control management, SCM, like GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab. The SCM includes DevOps pipeline script and configuration management tools, for example, Bash, Terraform, Ansible, etc., to be executed by DevOps Pipeline's job steps. Three, DevOps Pipeline authenticate to an SCM and check out the code from the SCM repo. Number four, DevOps Pipeline execute jobs based on the steps outlined by the DevOps Pipeline. Step five, to build a cluster or to perform any infrastructure related activities, an ephemeral pipeline agent is usually needed. DevOps pipeline authenticate with the image registry, for example, Quay, Artifactory, Docker Hub, and pulls an image that is used for spinning out pipeline agent. Step six, temporary pipeline, pipeline agent, which usually already has a script, libraries, and tools, for example, Terraform or Ansible, necessary to execute the script from SCM, spins out and perform the action based on DevOps pipeline script instructions. Step seven, if the request infrastructure pipeline action is about building or customizing image, temporary pipeline agent may pull the additional images from the image registry or the push to the image registry. Pipeline agent shuts down after execution is done. Or, Step A, if the requested infrastructure pipeline action is about creating, updating, or deleting a cluster, temporary pipeline agent may authenticate and then perform the infrastructure of operation activity. Pipeline agent shuts down after execution is done. Lastly, after pipeline action is completed, pipeline notifies engineering team or stakeholders the result either through the email or other messaging platform like Microsoft Teams, Slack, etc. Infrastructure DevOps Pipeline Technology Stacks. Let's explore some most commonly used technology stacks in the Infrastructure DevOps Pipeline. First, here are a few examples of DevOps Pipeline tools. Note that these tools are usually equivalent for DevOps Pipeline for the application developer as well. Jenkins, Harness, Argo, GitLab, GitHub Actions, and so much more. You also have a number of choices for source control management tools, SCM. Here are a few examples. GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, Subversion, Mercurial, etc. If you want to store and operating system images or container images, you need some type of image registry. Here are a few options that you can explore. Quay, Artifactory, Nexus, Docker Hub. Most importantly, to perform infrastructure related activities such as provisioning a cluster, building a custom VM image, etc., you need to have the configuration management tools and shell script. Terraform. This tool is usually best for provisioning a new cluster and maintaining it. Ansible. And other configuration management tools like Chef, Puppet, Solstack. This configuration management tool is excellent in installing packages, creating VM image, 
carrying out other VM VM related operations. Basic script. Basic but useful at all type of operation type of task. Lastly, you need a cloud provider or an environment where you can deploy and manage your virtual machines, your Kubernetes, or a cluster. Any public cloud provider will work, but you can start with the virtual machine or a container environment running on your local computer. What are some most common infrastructure DevOps pipeline activities or DevOps activities? Although it is impossible to list all possible infrastructure activities that can be performed by the DevOps pipeline, here's a list of some of the most commonly used infrastructure tasks that can be performed by DevOps pipeline. Provisioning a cluster, deleting a cluster, making a change in a cluster, building a container image, Podman or Docker, another can be used, building a VM image, like Ansible, Chef, etc. Inserting packages and perform post installation, making a change to a network in a cluster, provisioning a storage in a cluster, backing up a state of a learning environment, restoring a previously working state learning environment. DevOps pipeline for application developer. Let's switch the gear a little bit to explain how the DevOps pipeline for application developer is like. If the DevOps pipeline for the infrastructure team is centered around how to provide the necessary stable environment to operate in a software engineering team, the DevOps pipeline for the application developers is designed around the principle on how to deliver the software update as often as possible. Here's a possible architecture diagram illustrating the DevOps pipeline for application developers. Note that this is a simplified diagram for non-container context. With the container-based approach, few additional steps can be introduced. The high-level step-by-step process is listed below. First, DevOps pipeline job triggers. Step two, pipeline job execute tasks to check out the code from a source control management SCM, like GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab. This SCM includes DevOps pipeline script and source files for specific programming runtime, for example, Java, Python, Go, etc. If the software building process involves the deployment to a container or Kubernetes, Kubernetes environment, SCM repo may include a Docker file or sourced image S2I configuration file. Step 3. The code gets checked out and DevOps pipeline script and necessary source code are now inside DevOps pipeline temporary workspace. Step 4. Pipeline executes the step-by-step task based on DevOps pipeline script. Based on the programming runtime, this usually invoked build script such as Maven, Grunt, Makefile, etc. Step 5. In addition to the unit test, pipeline runs an additional end-to-end -end test and other quality tasks and publish this result through a tool like SonarCube. If the build fails or succeeds, the pipeline should also notify the developer team about the result. Step 6. If the application is successfully built and passed all the tasks, the package of package application can now be deployed to virtual machine or a container in Kubernetes environment. Application developer DevOps pipeline technology stacks. Many tools used by application developer focus pipeline are pretty much similar to those of infrastructure focused pipeline. One addition is code quality tool. Few example of code quality tools are shown below. SonarCube, SAML, Lint, CheckStyle. And to build the software, you need a build tool. The recommended dip tools differs based on the programming runtime. Here's a table showing some commonly suggested build tools. For Java, 
is Apache Maven, Apache Ant, and Apache Gradle. For JavaScript, Grunt, Webpack, and Golf. Python, Fabricate, Pint, Fabric. Most common application development DevOps activities. Here are a few common application development DevOps tasks that can be performed by the pipeline. Compiling and building software source code. Runs the test and generate the test result. Deploy the code packages to a virtual machine or container. Merge the code back to a SCM branch. Close a user story or task in an agile tool. CI CD pipeline. The practice of separating the continuous integration CI process against the continuous delivery process CD has not been a common practice adopted by software industry till the recent period. The most well-known DevOps pipeline tool, Jenkins, started at a time when the distinction between CI and CD was vague. But as the software's engineering process evolves, the benefits of separating the CI process from the CD process also becomes apparent. Here's a table that defines the difference between continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous development. Continuous integration. Developers merge their changes back to the main branch as often as possible. The developer changes are validated by creating a build and learning automated tests against the build. Continuous delivery. Lists new changes to the production. This means that on top of having automated your testing, you also have automated your list process and you can deploy your application at any point in time by clicking on a button. Continuous development. Every changes that pass your all stage of production pipeline is leads to the production. There is no human intervention and only failed tasks will prevent a new changes to be deployed to a production. While team can use a Jenkins to implement the entire CICD process, the current industry's trend now leans toward adopting the separate DevOps pipeline tool for CD process. For example, while one company may still use a Jenkins to build a software CI, CI or to build a virtual machine image, Harness or Argo is used to deliver the package to cluster or to a virtual machine environment. That's it. You learned what the DevOps pipeline is and how you can create two different types of DevOps pipeline. One for the infrastructure engineers and one for the application developers. You also learned the difference between continuous integration, CI, and continuous delivery CD process and how the industry trend will move toward the pattern to separate the CI from the CD. As the DevOps process keep evolving, evolving, yet another interesting concept called Guild Ops Earth emerges. But that need to be reserved for the next time. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to see other videos and to learn about other technologies as you I will create other videos for the tutorial. Thank you and see you next time.